I can't talk. I'm terrified. I'm so scared. It's return to the dentist day today. Amy's got to have the impacted wisdom tooth out and then the sort of corresponding upper wisdom tooth. You a little bit scared? Yes. And it's gonna be fine. She's gonna smash it, it's gonna be over before she knows it. And then it will just be like a week of recovery, just resting, eating loads of mashed potato. <laughs> it'll be fine. I've got a checkup just before, which I am <laughs> terrified about. <laughs> but by comparison, it really isn't much. So I'm fine. You feeling okay? Well, I'm free. Wasn't too bad to be fair. Three small fillings I've got to have done. Amy's in there now. She didn't want me in the room because I think it just made her a little bit more aware of what was going on. She just kind of wants to zone out. The dentist said it's going to take at least a couple of hours because it is really on its side and heavily impacted. I'm just walking to the Tesco Extra to see if I can get her some supplies, things like mashed potato ice cream, just stuff to perk her up a bit. Shop done. I've just basically loaded up on ice cream and potatoes and anything soft I could find. And a couple of little bits as well, just to cheer her up and give her something to do while she's recovering. And now I've got to lug it back in about an hour, back to the boat, drop it all off. And then that should hopefully be about the right time to head back out and go pick her up. And I'll take Rufus as well for a little morale boost. I hope she's okay. Almost made it back to the boat. <laughs> and Amy's just wrong me to say that she's out already. She's a bit earlier than expected, which is good. She's fine. It means I have to lug all this back because I don't want her waiting around. I just got out. I can't talk. And I feel really dizzy. Look who's home. <laughs> How are you feeling? Not good. But out of it. Yeah, and I was being really brave in the dentist, and then when I got home, I just cried because it wasn't very nice, and it's really hurting, like. And the numbness hasn't even worn off, so I know it's going to get worse as well. You look good. I'm proud of you. Just relaxing, recuperating, and mashed potato. Yeah. Well, and eating well with a little room for eight, because it's never judging how thick you are. Right. At the same time, you've got to open your mouth as wide as you can. We'll close your eyes and then we'll go one, two, three, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> We're going for a little after work row to try and help me feel better. Good, is it? I wish I hadn't seen that. It's either chipped a bit and water's got under it, or <laughs> it didn't stick properly when we blacked it. <laughs> I really hope it's not that. It seems all right everywhere else. <laughs> Watch your head, Amy. <laughs> Going quite fast. Mm. Here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> if that happened on the canals, we'd be out the hatch shaking our fists. See you, Wes.
See ya. See ya in Oxford. Took oh. me a centre line. Oh. <laughs> Took me a centre line. Oh, oh goodness. No. Be there in a minute. <laughs> Even though oh my cheek does look a bit swollen. Even though I'm very tired. My jaw is killing. The show must go on. And boat boat's gotta be boating. Don't worry, Wes is doing everything. I'm just holding Rufus and coming out for some fresh air. <laughs> Recovery is a slow process. I don't know if we've already said that. Some people might be thinking, oh, I had a wisdom too fat and it was fine. Mine was impacted on its side. So my, it's my jaw just feels so bruised. I can't really open my mouth. Wes is doing a really good job of looking after me though. Thank you, Wes. It'll be over soon. Woke up this morning to the sound of like a stampede. And we were so confused and it turns out we're moored on like a it's like a path and it's a route for like a marathon or a fun run or something. <laughs> and they all just started running past and we were like, What's happening? What's happening? Runners always start so early. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> bank holiday weekend we've been told it's going to be really busy so if you've got a mooring just hang on to it so we're going to take that advice because amy's still recovering from the wisdom tooth surgery and i think it would just be way too stressful so we're just going to stay where we are have a nice relaxing weekend in abingdon we're going to get the bus to oxford because we've got to pick something up from there and it's only about half an hour so that seems like a much more sensible approach so we're going to do that give ourselves a little break <laughs> and resume taking it slow, which is what we said we would do at the start of this year and haven't really done. <laughs> Slightly sad news though, the Condor 3000 has lost an oar. The little clip things that you put the oars on the side aren't very strong. And we think that at some point a boat's gone past and it's pushed the old Condor into Gregory's girl and the oars just come loose and we don't know where it's gone. So that's a bit sad. What you found, Wes? Yes. As luck would have it. They are, they are really short, but we might be able to make it work. Yay! Only three pound 49. Come on there. Annoyingly though, there was also a dinghy for 15 pounds. <gasps> no way, we paid 50. <laughs> It's only a one person one, I think. Could have got one each, because it would have been cheap. <laughs> Dentist where I had my tooth out is the old jail in this town, which feels very fitting. Apparently, back in the day here, the mayor and some other people just threw buttons off the roof of the county hall and something big happened. The Abandon folk like a hot cross bun. Faster, please turn me till the message plays. By tradition, this fair was a hiring fair where labourers found their employer for the following year. It's really cool you can come up here. Super high. There's the dentist prison. <laughs> There's the bridge that the river goes under. And our boat is somewhere over there in those trees. This is where they threw the buns from. That was really cool, that Abingdon Museum. If you are in the area, would, would highly recommend. You can go all the way up 
and you can see like a 360 view of the town it's really really cool and it's free museum and two pound to go on the roof it's really cool though because they still do the bun throwing thing now so they go up there and they throw them down here everyone gathers around they only do it for like a major royal or like town event so it's quite rare like they did one in 2011 2012 2018 and one happened two weeks As ago if we missed it so we only just missed it which i'm gutted about but still what a cool tradition so we've done in town for the day we have been buying boring things like shoelaces i also got some shoes for a wedding that we're going to next weekend we're very excited it's our good friend tom and alice's wedding so we're going to that next weekend and now we're going back because our friends moored next to us amy joe and making new memories so we're gonna go and chill out with those on the sofa Time to crack out the replacement ore. There's our remaining one, which is quite long. <laughs> and the actual length of these ones is, is tiny. You can paddle around in the bathtub with that. There's a connector middle bit though. <laughs> Spot the difference. <laughs> you can definitely tell it's deflated a bit. Time to inflate Quick while Amy's up. in it on the gunnel. This seems safe. This would be so much easier if you just got out. <laughs> what, are you going to reach over from down there? Fair point. Go, 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 go! <laughs> yes, nailed it. Easy. We're going to sneak up on them. The oars are really small. <laughs> I feel like I'm in one of those army adverts. Let's sneak it through the trunk. Human beings are programmed to fear the unknown. It's deep within us. A primal instinct protecting us from harm. So there's a shipwreck up ahead and I've been wanting to check it out so Wes is rowing us over there. I don't want to. And we're gonna go and explore but Wes has got, what is it? I don't know how to pronounce it, I think it's called sub, sub mechanophobia, the trigger warning. It's basically, it's a fear of man, submerged man-made objects, so like shipwrecks and basically what we're rowing over to. It makes me feel really weird and uncomfortable. But Amy really wants to go, so naturally we've compromised and we're going. Let's go! It's big, isn't it? Thank you. Keep an eye on the water in case a monster or a zombie <laughs> emerges or it becomes sentient and sinks us. Oh, I hate it. You're not a fan. It is interesting to look at, but it just makes me feel so like makes my skin crawl. It's just like so weirdly unnatural, I think. It just feels like it's gonna drag me into the underworld. Where's this running away? I'm out of there. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> you were brave. I didn't like that. I'm basically scared of everything. Roof is all like that. And we spotted another souvenir, and as chief protector of the rivers and canals, she's determined to get it out. I can't! We're just spinning around in circles. <laughs> Amy's currently being outrun by a small plastic cookie cutter. <laughs> I'm coming! <laughs> it's coming. Go that way a bit. Careful not to splash it away. No! Other way, other way, other way, other way. 
The boat is coming from both directions. <laughs> there's a narrow boat coming there. The narrow boat is not going to be here. Oh my goodness, it's coming right for us. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The wake from a narrowboat compared. <laughs> it doesn't even exist. <laughs> Docked. There are all the fish. There's loads. <laughs> it is nice, isn't it? Gives us an extra berth. Yeah. The next time someone comes stay over, we might just give them this to sleep in. <laughs> the getting out is slightly less. Unless it's that. <laughs> Come on, it's not that bad. Careful. Careful of your knee. <laughs> it is a lot easier to get in and out when someone is already in there. heading back into Oxford today but we're just taking the bus so that we don't have to deal with all the bank holiday mooring shenanigans and the bus is about half an hour I think but it's it's pretty straightforward and it drops you right off in the center so it sounds pretty good takes about four hours. Time to explore. We spent quite a while looking for something for me to wear at the wedding next weekend. I think I've found something. Hopefully it's, I feel comfortable in it. Now I'm gonna get some food. I got where's the donut looking after me. Pretty good. Thank you. I'm absolutely starving and I haven't had solid food for ages. So we've gone for some fries because I can I can fit them in my jaw because they're so thin. First chips in ages. So good. <laughs> Amy, your boater is showing. This was just on the road. Looks like it's fallen out off somewhat. I don't want it to go in the bin, but we could use that for the cassettes on the trolley. Can't turn down a free bungee cord. They're always useful for us boaters. We're back at Ben's Cookies to get our favourite ever cookie we've ever had. They're so good. We've accidentally joined a walking tour. <laughs> Just following them all. Pretty tired now. Had a good day though. One last order of business to pick up a unit from a little shop that specializes in small space living. That we bought like two weeks ago. We're finally gonna get it. It's probably gonna weigh loads. We'll have to lug it back on the bus. Is it heavy, Wes? Yeah. Got phone charging on the bus. Gotta make the most of it. Save the battery power. <laughs> Wes has got a genius new idea. I don't want to damage the bag though. I feel like the bag probably wasn't built for this. Steady. We are. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. I think so. Is it easier? I don't know. It's hurting different parts. 
How are you doing, Wes? Give me a thumbs up. We aren't sponsored by Lucy Nyak. Although I wish we were. But I don't think anyone has stress tested the structural integrity of these bags quite like we have. <laughs> they really do hold hold up. Excellent build quality, would highly recommend. <laughs> Put a link down below. You're doing alright with that bag, Amy. Hello man. Come, come on. It's falling. <laughs> come on. We've been relaxing in the boat for a little bit after heaving all that back from Oxford and we spotted that tonight they're doing a pub quiz in one of the pubs. So it's been ages since we've done a pub quiz and we used to love going to them. When we lived in Sheffield, that's where we met if you didn't know, we lived in Sheffield City Centre. We used to go to a pub quiz every single week. It's been a while. Let's see if we're still as rubbish as we used to be. <laughs> we will be. This is Patrick Easy. Where's got a magic trick? We have a call for bingo. Party oh, deck number two. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner! £261 jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good Well, we didn't win the bingo, <laughs> but we do have chips, so who's the real winner? I mean, still the guy with the 260 quid, <laughs> but he hasn't got as many chips as that. Back in Abingdon town centre today. We think we might try and trek to home base to do another small DIY job. It's one that we've been wanting for ages and it's a lot, gonna be a lot of effort to walk there and back, but we think it'll be worth it. First things first though, we need to fuel up. Yes. Checking out what B and Q's got to offer first. If you haven't already noticed by now, when we get tired, we either get grumpy or dancey. Today is dancey. All right, we're in home base now. We've come for these to make a headboard. Amy's now decided that this terrible looking thing is maybe better. I think that's nice because it like finishes it off and it's like a more of a statement piece. Right, we're gonna make this into a headboard. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, it's like a bit more of a statement piece. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's stylish boring. That's stylish exciting. That's exciting. We've been sat on the floor in home base for probably about 20 minutes now and we cannot agree on this one because I basically think a nice, simple, functional headboard that will just sit in the background and then you decorate the rest of the bedroom with your bedding and all the rest of it. And Amy wants a troll's fingers reaching up around the bed. <laughs> He's being really mean about my idea. I think this is nice, but it's too boring and stylish and it's like sleek. We're not sleek, people. Yeah, this look. is a little bit fun. That's a trifle. It's funky. 
You've got loads of good ideas. That's not one of them. <laughs> Where's one by being mean everyone? See, he's not the nice young lad you all think he is. You've been equally mean just when the camera hasn't been rolling. I've been weeping in a corner for hours. <laughs> We've decided to come into Costa so that we can think about it more because it was getting a bit awkward things sat on the floor on our face for so long. We're gonna have a drink and then we're gonna come to an agreement and then we're gonna go and act on it. Amy, the tech wizard, has taken to the Canva app to try and superimpose the options. <laughs> so you can really see the scale of the giant's fingers. <laughs> it's the only way to decide. Here we go, here's the artist's rendition. <laughs> I mean, now I don't even know if I want one at all. They both look terrible. <laughs> I think it's very yours. That's it, decision made then. <laughs> but I think over the top of the pillows, yours mm. looks better. And if we wanted to get some extra pillows or something, it might just look awkward having less over the top. Mm. Whereas yours, it doesn't matter how high the pillows go. Yeah. You win, are you happy now? <laughs> yes. Quite a good idea. Yeah, that was actually quite good. Whereas... I want to buy a tea, though. Oh. Yay. Your back's gonna hurt halfway through, and I. Fine. Say what you want. This time's trolley is definitely more fun. <laughs> size trolley is addictive. Amy couldn't resist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fed up with me. Wait, 14 quid each? Hello? Seven. Must be careful not to get robbed on the way home, given how much they cost. <laughs> We're grumpy tired now. <laughs> the dancing has ceased. <laughs> Day two of carrying large wooden objects home. <laughs> We're sharing the burden there. I've got the headboard of wood, bag full of shopping. Amy's really pulled out the stuff. She's got some potatoes and some bread. <laughs> That was tiring. Having to run the engine for a little bit as well because we've been under the trees so we don't get half as much solar, which isn't great, but it's so much better than how much we used to have to run it. Had a little rest and we're gonna crack on with just a teeny tiny little dusting of DIY because we've got a couple of bits from Oxford that we really are looking forward to putting up. And first of which is a tiny shelf. Yeah, that looks nice. And then maybe a little plan and then And the next time we crash into a wall, all that can come flying off. So I measured the width of the colour block and it is exactly 51.3 centimetres wide, which is a completely unhelpful measurement. And the mirror is slightly off centre, so I'm just going to eyeball it. <laughs> sure. Yeah? Yeah. Here we go. I like that. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yay! Just need to find more small things there. Small trinkets. <laughs> Where's has gone rogue? <laughs> well, the second thing we've got is this handy little hook. So I'm just gonna wang it in here. Maybe a bit lower, yeah. There? And I hope there's nothing behind this wall. I'm gonna do the drill. <laughs> Wesley, these clothes need to hang up to dry. Don't put them on the shower rail where they get in the way. Thankfully, I can pull down this nifty little hook and hang them 
as such. Wow! Now we can get rid of this. Things have escalated. <laughs> All we were trying to do is we've got some new shoe shelves to fit behind the stairs. However, the previous owners just put this random fake cupboard I hate it. behind the stairs and it's just glued on with so much Gorilla Glue. And the, behind it is just a plain bit of wood, so we're trying to get that off. But it's a more brittle bit of wood behind it. And yeah, like the world supply of Gorilla Glue. We were like, oh, we'll just fit a shoe rack. And all it was is an adhesive shoe rack. And now we're having to do all this. Very fast. Are you glad it's gone, Wes? I hate fake cupboards. Probably just there then, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. So the top aligned with that. Sure. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> that's enough, isn't it? Yeah. That's it. That rounds off our little DIY mini thing. Oh, wait. Amy's ripping the floor up. This is the last remaining carpet tile on the boat, and I hate it. And I want it off. might be our inspection hatch. Oh really? For those of you who don't know what an inspection hatch is, it's basically a bit of the floor that you can lift up to see into the hull of the boat to see if you've got any water in there. And there shouldn't be any water in there, but to check, there's normally bits of wood that you can lift up. And we've never found ours. We think it one of them's under the oven. But maybe it's here? It is the inspection hatch, everyone. I'm terrified. I'm so scared. Shall we just not look? <laughs> Just put the carpet tile back. back undo, undo. Oh my goodness. It's just this. That's tiny. Oh, <gasps> yes! That is bone dry! Is that it? Yeah! Nice. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy because that has literally been a stress of ours since we bought the boat because the surveyor said i don't know if you've got an inspection hatch because i can't find it so i haven't been able to check the bilges so we haven't literally been able to check the bilges of the boat since we bought it and we've just been like if there's a leak we don't know about it so i'm so glad it's bone dry it's something that a lot of boaters <sighs> will do pretty much as soon as they get the boat and then regularly throughout to make sure there aren't any leaks so it is quite important Buzz in. Worth taking up the carpet tile. Successful evening of DIYing. And now that Amy can eat, we can go back to oven chips. And we're gonna watch some better call saw and relax. Split down the middle. You know what I mean? You know, once I come out we hope you enjoyed this installment of Silly Shenanigans. And a massive thank you to our chip donators this week. You're all amazing. And be sure to join us next week as we get an unexpected knock on the boat. 